Uh, hello there. Do you have anything for me to to offer? A portal charm? Oh, that's cool. That's just one downside, fella. I don't have the emeralds, and in order to get emeralds, I need to sail gravel through a line mesh. And with that, there's a drop chance of 0.8%. And uh, I don't really want you on my island until that happens, so if you could just leave, that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. With that introduction out of the way, hello and welcome back to All The Mod 7 To The Sky. In the last episode, I set a like goal of 40 likes, and then I said I would drop off this island to see what happens. Unfortunately, we didn't reach that goal, but we got pretty close. We're at 29 at the time of this recording, so I think I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and store all my stuff in here, and then I'm gonna jump off. <laughs> <laughs> I think my intention was to jump off with everything in my inventory that I would normally have, but as a middle ground, I think jumping off without anything is uh, is fair play. So let's see what happens. I'm very curious. Oh, there's a bedrock down there. I didn't know that. Um, uh, you do oh, I'm actually gonna die. Okay, right. That's uh, oh dear. That that's good to know. That's a problem. I'm a ghost. <laughs> um, I'm a ghost until until I go down here. Uh, that's. That's a problem. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a big problem. Good thing there's this thing called backups. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to All The Bus 7 To The Sky. In the last episode, we made this machine right here. Basically, we have a cobblestone generator tier 1 feeding into these two fire crucibles, it eventually turning it into lava, which is then eventually stored in here, which can then be moved into this magmatic dynamo, which can then provide us with power. And today, if we go into the quest tab here and go to Getting Started Part 2, I would love to move on to getting the automatic sieve, because that is just going to make life a whole lot easier. Because that means with the automatic generation of cobble, I can basically just feed it into the flux hammer, which is this one right here, which is the automated process of hammering, which can then be moved into the automated sieving process, and we can just have an endless amount of ores being generated. So that is going to be the goal of today. However, I don't actually know if we will be making the flux hammer, because we have this right here, which is the pulverizer, which I don't think is going to be too difficult to craft, and it basically does the same thing as the flux hammer however it does require power and whatnot but it would move us towards more thermal expansion stuff so we'll have to see also because the flux hammer is a little bit expensive we do need a diamond hammer and we haven't even gotten to that yet so i think first of all we should get the flux sieve going and for that i am gonna need a whole lot more iron <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done a single thing in between episodes. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get myself prepared here properly. I'm gonna gather a bunch of resources and then I'll be back once I have a bunch of iron ready to go. So I will see you in a very short amount of time. All right, I have gathered a bunch of materials and I... I'm close to being infuriated because, as you can see, we have this iron match over here, so I focused on right-clicking the gravel right here, so this would pick up some gravel as well, in the hopes of potentially getting a diamond from that 0.8% drop chance. However, what did I get? Two emeralds. This could have been diamonds, but no, I didn't even get a single one. I got two emeralds instead. That is, well, to say the least, just a little bit annoying. That is 18 raw iron right there. And if I go ahead and take my ore hammer, I can smash that into 36. That is more than enough for two stacks and a hopper and a few other bips and bobs. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't care. That's how we say it today. All right, I now have 28 iron ingots with more still on the way, but this should be enough for us to make the flux sieve so for that we need to make two iron blocks just like so we also need a hopper which can be made like so we also need an extra sieve and five iron bars and with that we got everything to make the flux sieve now as it says in here these machines have no output inventory the sieve outputs to the bottom and the hammers output to the front so if i go ahead and take another chest and then because we will need to power this it only makes sense to make it right over here by the flowers and honestly while i love having this here it's really annoying because it's kind of gonna get in the way um but if we go ahead and put so the sim is gonna output it to the bottom so if we do that and then i go ahead and connect uh how's this gonna work might be able to just connect it directly 
to this. Yep, it's gonna take some power. It's gonna put up this right here. Now this thing, the flux sim, is not fast by any means. So what we need to do is we need to give it a mesh, and then each time this reach the screen bar reaches the top, that is one saving done, and it can only do one at a time. We can give it upgrades, which are in the quest uh, menu here. So the gold upgrade, etc., which we might be able to do, which we might be able to make. So I'm gonna add that to the to-do list so that we might be able to make it today. But it has power now, so all I need to do is get some cobblestone. And because we're still in the manual stage of things, I will need my hammer and my building wand. But now I can give it the gravel and it will sieve it automatically. And yep, it sieved one other thing. And as you can see, as soon as the screen bar reaches the top, which it will in three, two, one, it's gonna take one gravel and sieve it. And then boom, there we go, automated sieving. Now, I want to make the flux hammer. However, again, that does require diamonds. And in order to get diamonds, well, we need to sieve probably for quite a while in order to get one of these. So I can either sit here for a little bit and keep making gravel and, well, wait for this thing to maybe spit out a diamond, or I could go ahead and make the pulverizer instead, which I think is exactly what I'm going to be doing, because otherwise I can sit here for quite a long time hoping to get a diamond that I may not get. Now I'm just trying to think of the best way possible in order to do this. We already have a couple of generator tier one here, and I'm thinking of potentially moving this over a bit. So I think let's dig this up real quick. Let us, oh, we did get a diamond, hold up. Huh, interesting. Maybe we don't wanna move this just yet. You know what, I am gonna, uh, it, we lost all the power? <laughs> Okay, now now we need to now we need to do this because otherwise this would have all been for nothing. Yep, diamonds, there we go. Yay us. We're hopefully about to get a lot more of those. Alright, then I'm going to steal this, and then I am going to have this gravel be a temporary block and then this placed right here because then we'll have the pulverizer right there which means i can now take this power cable as well and not have it connected to the input but have it on the side here which will then be our output feeding into the pulverizer which will be right here the pulverizer can then output over to the flux thingy thing however i'm just thinking now whether or not we potentially want to generate some cobblestone separately i think we might want that so if i move this chest or by holding down the shift and then right clicking on this thing that means we have a ton of cobblestone right here if i then take an item pipe this will then be the pulverizer we'll have the cobblestone generator tier two right there the pulverizer will then move items up to the flux seal which is going to output the items at the bottom and not do that good Okay, I think this is the layout. Can I move this? I can't move this. Uh, I might I might remove this. I am really, really not wanting... Well, hold on. There are three bees on my map. They're not even in this thing. I'm gonna use two precious iron ingots here. I don't know if we'll need this for anything. But I'm gonna grab that. And I'm very, very sorry, but yeah. The bees are still here, they'll get a new home. In fact, I'll make them a new home. Because I feel bad about breaking their current home. I'm gonna make them a new and improved home. And this will be placed right over here. There we go. The bees, if they come back, should be able to navigate back to this thing. And it's right next to my crops, they'll be happy about that. The flowers are here. It's all good. Now, back to the main problem at hand. What's this? What have I completed? The Twilight Forest. Oh, because we got the diamond and then we got any flower. Yeah, that's true. We can actually make the way... We can actually open a portal to the Twilight Forest. However, we're not going to do that today. Today, I want to make the pulverizer. So for that, we need a piston, a few other things. I should... Yes, I do have some redstone. Okay, good. All right, piston. That's that. Machine frame. I need glass and I need a tin gear, which means I finally get to hammer some tin today. Boom, tin dust. I can set that off to smelting. I also need copper gears. So for that, I can now make some copper chunks and then go ahead and 
get some cover dust as well, which can also be set to smelting. Bad time. The next thing I need is also a redstone flux coil, which I am missing some gold ingots. I'm gonna hammer some gold dust here, and this is the point where I make another furnace, and that I remember that it would be nice to make some upgraded furnaces at some point. All right, we got eight tin ingots, which I think Things should be enough, except that I need an iron nugget. Might need a few of those, actually. All right, so let's start off with the copper gears. That's two of them. And then the machine frame, we need one tin gear, just like so. And for the machine frame, I need four iron ingots and some glass. Yes, I do have that. I should have everything we need to make the machine frame now. And then I need two flint and the rest of the flux coil. Oh, no, don't, don't burn. That's bad. This entire time, it hasn't burned until now. That's... Yeah, that, that don't burn. All right, there we go. Four gold ingots together with some redstone. And we should have everything that we need to make the polarizer. Sweet, leaving it up to chance. Oh, that's a quest completed. All right, and for that, we get some raw iron and gold. That is lovely. All right, so if I place this here, this should be now getting power. And if we go into the configuration, I can say input is here which then takes the cobblestone that this thing generates because this is full. And we are going to say output on the right, which should put it in here. Uh, auto output enabled. I don't know if that's actually going to work or if I need to, yeah, I need to do the cable thing. So if I do that, this is now getting gravel and this thing has been automated. Okay, that was actually fairly easy. I'm gonna make some bread to celebrate. Nom nom nom. Yeah, that's, that's going great. We're generating power. This thing is getting power. This thing is still getting power. So we're still generating more power than we're actually consuming. That is good news. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting sand. I mean, that's not bad. But is that a byproduct of pulverizing cobblestone? Pulverizer, yes. So we do have a chance of getting 20% sand. Okay, that's not bad. So that's the thing with the pulverizer. You might get something else sometimes. So like this thing, it got sand. However, it is getting flint. Uh, we don't want flint to go in here because that's pretty bad. I don't know if we got some sort of... Yeah, that's a pipe upgrade. We don't got any sort of filtering through this. We would need some other pipes in order to do filtering. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Right now, it goes just fine, which I'm happy with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to it. One thing that we can do as well is add flint to this thing, which I'm not sure what is actually going to have an effect on. Like it, it says optional catalyst, however, I don't know what that actually means. If that's going to improve, doesn't seem to improve the work speed. However, it might have something to do with the chance of getting something else. I don't know. But for now, this is nice. However, it's still a little bit loud. But uh, I guess we replace the beehive with. <laughs> machinery. <laughs> so yeah, we are now completely automatically generating, well, all of us and crystals and lapis and stuff like that. That's sweet. Now, gold upgrade would be ideal. So for that, we need terracotta and to make terracotta, we need clay. That shouldn't be too rough of a thing to do. We already have seven clay blocks, which should be plenty. However, we do need cyan terracotta and to get cyan dye, ooh, we can, you, we can use appetite. We got appetite. We got two appetite. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Side die. All right, let us cook this real quick. Oh, I need. I might need more terracotta though. All right, how do I make clay again? Dust in a barrel. All right, that is very doable. There we go. That is another clay block. And yep, I, I actually I had seven before, so this should be enough. It looks like this thing is actually keeping up. What I want to do eventually is filter through flint to go back into the pulverizer i think that would be really ideal since we can since it can take that as catalyst again i don't know what the catalyst means if you do please do let me know down below in the comments that would be really helpful but now we can go ahead and make cyan terracotta and so with some glass uh do i have i don't have enough i have spotted another problem though green dye how on earth do I get green dye when I don't have cactus? Market? I do emeralds. How do I get red wool? Can I get red wool? How do I get red dye? Wait, I do have red dye. I do have red dye. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. Red wool market. Boom. Now hopefully this works as I'm hoping it does. Let's place it right here.
Well, hello there, good sir. Okay, um, saplings, other seeds, cactus, one emerald. I can provide you with that. Emerald, give me, no, cactus. Yes, got a cactus. Now what happens if I break this? Hmm, okay, you know what? This market thing, actually useful. So I should now be able to burn that cactus. This cactus is really, really valuable. There we go, green dye, and I think with that we'll be able to make, well, of course, with some gold right there. Gold upgrade. Now, before I do this, before I actually do this, upgrade, oh dear, that's a lot, but we got this, the diamond upgrade. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, definitely making the gold upgrade. Nowhere near to being able to make the next one. So what does it say? Item processed, two, four, eight, RF protect, yeah, RF cost per item. I don't know what this means. It does seem to go faster. It does seem to go faster, which is the main thing. However, I do think it does cost more power, but that's fine. We got a lot of power. We're actually starting to build up our energy cell here. That is very, very good. Also, my storage situation is not looking too good, nor is my food situation, to be completely honest with you. So let's take a look at the quest. We're almost done with this. As soon as we get one more diamond, we'll be able to make the flux hammer, and then we'll be able to tick off the gold upgrade as well. We don't actually get any rewards of these, so it might just be a waste of two diamonds, but we'll do it anyway for the satisfaction. Using our power to create more power, we will be able to make the met metallurgic infuser which we can use in order to make things like reinforced alloy and a few other things as well i don't actually see a usage of for this a usage for this quite yet except for making things like basic uh control circuits together with uh, with osmium uh and if i remember correctly these circuits are used for a bunch of other mechanism machines so that's really if we want to get into more of mechanism however automated ore smelting with thermal expansion this would be a nice touch this would be a really nice touch so i think that is going to be next uh upgrading our smelting machine no if we go back here furnace upgrade yes i do i have enough of that do i know do i have enough do i have enough i do have enough wait a minute let's check this now i do <laughs> if I go ahead and just smack that a few times and put that in there, soon I will have enough to, in order to up, make an upgraded furnace. We got two diamonds. We got two diamonds. All right, I'll get back to that in just a moment. I want to expand the island. Expand it like this. We'll have a good foundation. And then I can expand the dirt in this direction. There we go. That is pretty much as much as I can manage. However, building out here as well wouldn't be too bad. Because I want to I want to expand our possibilities here with, with machines. And I can only really do that if we start expanding our island. I'm going to use all this cobblestone to expand as much as possible here. And I can actually turn all of this into farmland. I'm gonna remove all of these because I don't need these industrial herb seeds nor the fibers. Oh, hello. What are you selling? Oh, really good diamond trousers. Yeah. Uh, you can kindly despawn now if you wish. Or go away, go home, something. I don't know. Oh, look, he's gone. Hmm. Wow, that was fast. I guess as soon as he knew that I wasn't interested, interested in any of his items, I guess he just, uh, yeah, left. That's, well, convenient for me. That's, uh, yeah. What was I making again? Oh yeah, this is what I was doing. I was making an upgraded furnace. Boom. Stone to iron furnace upgrade? Oh, we can convert yet another one. I will gladly do so. Boom. Which brings us back to the getting started part two with this. If we make another pulverizer, we'll be able to have automated smelting setup, which I think I want to make, so... Hmm, I've kind of enclosed myself with this. This should have been kind of one long, maybe all the way over there or something. This is kind of our power generation area. And then we should have had machines all the way over here. Uh, I really don't want to move it, but... Okay, stop power generation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. That's a bit long. I, I'm going to expand this a little bit more. All right. It is now time to move things over. So uh, I guess I should move it from this area over. So yeah, I'm going to place this, I think, right here. It's going to be good. I'll place that. Everything has moved over. We have three diamonds now. That's sick. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Steal this. Let's bring you over. The sound has bucked out a little bit. 
which is unfortunate. Now I just gotta connect it all together again with power. Now it is actually a little bit annoying that the sound is gone, so let me re-log into the world here and hopefully that'll fix the issue. I'll be right back. Well, that actually didn't fix the sound issue, but all the other sounds are working just fine, so it's fine. And then over here, I think I want to make that automated ore smelting and it shouldn't be too hard to get. I need just another pulverizer. So yeah, let's get started with that. I need another machine frame. I don't feel like that's faster, but either way, we got this fancy menu over here, which will be useful for what we're about to do. It might also be a little bit faster. I am not sure. Okay, we're not gonna make that expensive tin gear. We're gonna make this tin gear, and then we're gonna make another machine frame. Ah, I need a piston, which means I need one piece of redstone. <laughs> I think the si the sieve just processed two items at once. Oh, that's the thing right there. Items processed two. So it does two at a time. Well, I guess that means we can add two pulverizers to this thing. Eventually. E eventually. But now. Yes. Redstone. That's all I need. Just one piece in order to make the piston. And there we go. That's the piston done, which means I can now make the pulverizer. Perfect. Whoa, okay, you scared the living daylights out of me. What do you want? Okay, that's a really good sword. Yeah. I'm not... No. I, you know what? I'm, I'm not interested in, in, in any of your things. I guess you can stick around if you want to. Just don't bother me. All right, that's two chests, pulverizer, and iron furnace. So I should be able... I think I want to set this up over here. So this can be placed here. That's going to draw some power out of this thing. I, I gave you a condition. I gave you a condition. I'm going to give you a chance. So step away from this. I said, step away from this. What? The, the, the thing burned away? Come on. Okay, yeah, definitely need to move this back or something like that. Uh, also, yes, he, um, I can now place the iron furnace back here and then two separate chests right here. So for this, it will have input on the top and then output on the right. And then this is, can I? None. Okay, let's reset all these to none. All right. Uh, wow. Wow. All right. Left is input, and then top is output, and that's pretty much that. I can add a fuel slot as well, but since we don't have one just yet, I'm just going to put in coal. So now what I can do is I can take things like, let's take the gold, and maybe the tin, and the aluminum, and the nickel, and the lead, and the silver. Let's clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make as much nickel as I can, as much iron, as much as aluminum, lead, silver, osmium, copper, tin, gold, and more aluminum. Then I can place the remainders in here together with the rest. And I can just add all of this stuff in here because the polarizer... Uh... Hold on. Also input enabled. Yes. Also input enabled. Also output disabled as well. Um, and also output on so it automatically pull, puts out to the chest. This should be dragged. Oh. This should be dragged in here, I think. Yes. That's then dragged into the furnace, which is then exited to the chest once it's done. Just like that. And what the pulverizer does, it basically just pulverizes it into dust, just like if we use the ore hammer, which we should be able to see in just a moment. So we have two in here right now, this finished, and now we have four. So there you go. Automated ore processing, which we can now take off right here. And I can then add the iron ore in here as well. Nice. Now what we are also able to make, if we go into the thermal series here, is this, the redstone furnace, which is basically a furnace, but that runs off of RF, our power generation right here, which might be better because we don't have an unlimited supply of coal, which in fact we are going to be unlocking right now. There we go. I just took this and that means we, I think, yep, as it says here, check out the thermal series chapter to get started, which is right here this bit and we get the thermopedia and there we go we have unlocked this section of the quest tree here all the modium what have we unlocked here uh okay not sure what we unlocked but we got something now we are able to upgrade our furnace to a golden one which i'm not sure what the difference is but i guess that would be nice iron to gold upgrade that should be doable so gold iron and a block of gold yeah that can be doable there we go. Iron to gold furnace upgrade. A uh, bit scared of doing this, but I think... Yep, there we go. Good. It's now a golden furnace, and I think that now 
Yep, that is smelting faster. That's awesome. I can go ahead and move our ingots actually into the chest up here. Diamond and emerald can go in here. Very nice. Now, final two things that I will be doing before we end this episode. I do realize that it is a bit long, but I'm gonna upgrade this furnace to another golden one. There we go. And I'm gonna put all my fuel in here. I'm gonna reset all of these because I don't want anything going anywhere. And that gives us this, which is block of gold very nice and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the flux hammer as soon as I have made these and then oh yeah I need the diamond hammer of course duh we do have now four diamonds which is awesome I'm gonna go ahead and make a few sticks make a diamond hammer that's expensive and boom flux hammer what we're we going to be using this for I'm not sure but we have it it looks cool and uh, well it does hammering <laughs> For now, though, I'm just going to mine this up and I'm gonna put it in my chest here because I'm not sure what we want to use it for, but now we got it. So that is the flux sieve part complete. And we also do have the golden upgrade, which I think if I go ahead and take it from here. Yep, that's the gold upgrade completed. So guys, this was potentially, I don't know how long it is after I've edited it, but this was quite an episode. We have fully automated the saving process. We are getting a bunch of good stuff. Room for improvement, like filtering out flint and then redirecting it back into the pulverizer, stuff like that. But we also got an automated pulverizing and smelting thing going on here, which is absolutely Awesome and amazing. I'm gonna put those out because yeah, that's I don't want to messing up the system So yeah room for improvement, but this is a really good start indeed in the next episode I think we need to look into some food because I am running very low on it So we might be taking a look at this in the next episode food and farming potentially and just see if there's some sort of food That is very easy to make and that gives us a high amount of food and saturation as well And other than that we will continue down the road of technology and stuff like that We do need to soon get into some storage maybe some applied logistics I don't think we're quite there yet But I do want to get started with that as soon as we can we have also unlocked the thermal series now So we might be doing some stuff with that plenty of opportunities I'm excited and I hope you are too but with that I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode and the other videos that I make. Also, feel free to join my Discord server, link down below in the description. Great place to hang out, awesome community. I'd love to see you there. But with that, like I said, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. Yeah.